my sunshine, my Slovak sunshine, you are the only one for me. My heart is aching, don't keep me waiting, you've got to shine your love on me. My heart is aching, don't keep me waiting, you've got to shine your love on me. You are my sunshine, my Slovak sunshine. Let's sing a song in harmony. I hear bells ringing, my heart is singing, singing a Slovak melody. I hear bells ringing, my heart is singing, singing a Slovak melody. Slovak Slova, Slovak Budem, Čene Čiž mi nosi budem. Slovak Soma, Slovak Budem, Čene Čiž mi nosi budem. My Slovak sunshine, you are the only one for me. My heart is aching, don't keep me waiting. You've got to shine your love on me. My heart is aching, don't keep me waiting. Slovakia, known as the Slovak Socialist Republic, is the eastern portion of the Federation of Czechoslovakia. It has five million inhabitants and is the oldest nation on the banks of the central Danube River. Slovakia covers an area of 25,000 square miles and is approximately the size of the state of West Virginia. It is a land blessed with incredible natural beauty. It is a land of treasures, castles and monuments scattered abundantly over a diverse, multicolored landscape. It is a land of people whose legends and traditions are preserved in their art, their dance, and their songs. The church has played an important role in Slovakia's history and traditions. The city of Mitra in western Slovakia has been the center of religious activity since the first church of St. Emeron was built in 828. Church documents prove that the Slavonic language was used here in the liturgy in the year 868, over 1100 years ago. The translation of sacred scriptures and the liturgy into the Slavonic language by the two missionaries, St. Cyril and Methodius, was a significant contribution to the Slovak people. Throughout Slovakia's turbulent history, the church and the clergy have nurtured and helped preserve the Slovak language. Nearby, the rich earth and warm climate produce some of the best wines in Europe. It is an ideal climate for such staples as wheat, rye, corn, cabbage, and potatoes.
There are many beautiful cities and villages situated on the river Vach, which is the longest river in Slovakia. Overlooking the Vach Valley is one of the oldest cities, the city of Trenčín. of its age is inscribed on the face of a rocky cliff just beneath the imposing fortress. A Roman legion camped on this hill inscribed the memorial to their victory in this city in the year 179 AD. This inscription is the oldest written historical document in Slovakia. Trenčín Castle, like most fortresses, was built on a very high rock, but we were determined to visit the castle. So up we went. We climbed. And climbed. And then we climbed some more. As compensation for all that climbing, the tower offered us breathtaking views of Trenčín and the Vach River Valley. There is an area for concerts in the courtyard near the legendary well of Fatima. Fatima was a Turkish beauty held captive in this fortress until her lover bargained for her freedom by agreeing to dig a well in this courtyard. It seemed an impossible task, for he had to dig straight down hundreds of feet through solid rock. Miraculously and happily for all concerned, Fatima's lover found water, and like most legendary heroes, they all lived happily ever after. Trenčianske Hodiny is a melancholic folk song about the bells of Trenčín. The bells belong to this 17th century Piaristitsky church in the town square. Every Sunday, these celebrated bells chime and blend with the voices of the parishioners, creating a poignant harmony of their own. kilometers from Trenčín, in the little village of Kubra, a young artist and his friends carry on an old tradition, the art of pottery and ceramics. Vlado Juric is a master of his craft, and as he forms his creation, he reveals his enthusiasm and his desire to perpetuate this art form. Dan 
táto dielňa vyrába aj do dnes, teraz ešte, modránskú keramiku. No a my sme nadviazali teraz na, podľa starých exponátov múzeu, sme nadviazali na tradíciu drenčanskej keramiky. Tak túto obnovujeme, berieme si staré vzory z depozitu drenčanského múzea. Držíme sa dekoru, ktorý používali kedysi starí majstri, keramikári. Približujeme tiež aj tvar, dodržiavame. Dávame na to glazúru, ktorá to zloženie farebné je také, totožné s tou starou keramikou, malbou. No a tieto džbány, vlázy, potom expedujeme do Bratislavy, kde v ústredie ľudové umeleckej výroby to v svojich predajňach predáva ako ľudové výrobky. Artisans in this village have been painting and decorating their pottery in this style for centuries. The colors and designs have become the trademark of the Trenchine region. Slovakia is well known for its health spas with their healing mineral and thermal springs. They welcome visitors from all over the world. Besides medical care and treatments, the spas offer a pleasant and peaceful environment. Piešťany, like most large towns, has a pedestrian mall for shopping or just plain strolling around. Another popular spa is in the delightful village of Trenčianske Teplice. Nestled in a valley, surrounded by rolling hills and lush forests, it is a camper's and hiker's paradise. were born in Miava, about 20 miles west of Piešťany. My family has grown considerably since my last visit, and many cousins have relocated. So I introduced my wife, Lini, to as many relatives as I could find. This is Tetka Ancha and her family. They all work on a collective farm picking grapes. My 84-year-old Striko Danish was anxious to display his many awards for his achievements as a locomotive engineer. Rico Martin, who until his retirement last year was the railroad station master in Trenčín. His hobby as a senior citizen is motorcycling. Strico Sanko worked on the farm all of his life. He loves geese, homemade slivovica, and exercises daily and he's only 79 years old.
Cousin John is an engineer and draftsman. During our visit to Slovakia, he was our guide and assisted in producing this film. In the kitchen, Tetka Zdenka demonstrates the art of Slovak cuisine, in this case, halushki.